You got to make it do what it do.
Just don't get too far And I'll be right where you are What's up, unique family? It's your girl D. I'm just checking in today. Today's the last day. As you can see, I'm under the weather. So you're gonna have to excuse my voice. Yes, babe has transferred all the germs to me. Anyway, I'm sitting here in one of the billions of lobbies I feel like in this hotel. Just chilling. I've been getting some B-roll and everything. I've still been working even though I'm not really on vacation, but on vacation. If that makes any sense. I cannot really disclose exactly what I'm doing here, but um, it is work. It's a little side job, and we are here for a train. So this is the last day of that. I will be flying out early in the morning. Well, my flight leaves at nine, supposedly. So, but I, we have to be at the airport very early in the morning. So. I haven't really been able to vlog much, which is why I just kind of wanted to check in. The video that you will see, if you haven't already, will more than likely just be, you know, of me, of the travels and a little B-roll during the travels and everything, just to kind of let you know that I still have been thinking about you guys and still have been putting in work for y'all. And, and even though I'm under the weather, I'm still trying to produce content for y'all to see. So I'm not even sure what day of Vlogmas this is, y'all. I've lost track of my days altogether. They're running together and it's crazy how this particular week 
that we've been here in training, the day that it even started, because it like, started on a Thursday and it's going through, like I won't return home. So today is, what, Tuesday, I think? Yeah, because we won't be getting home until tomorrow, Wednesday. So anyway, my whole days are just all messed up. So I don't even know what day of Vlogmas this is, but I just hope y'all enjoy this little video and let us know, you know what you're looking forward to and if you're enjoying Vlogmas or not and what else you want to see. I had all intentions of trying to do put together a 12 days of Christmas type thing, but it kind of got interrupted. So we still may do that, but it just may start somewhere in the middle because I feel like we're already almost there, which is crazy. So we still probably have time to put that together for y'all and to wrap up Vlogmas. I think that'd be kind of fun. So. Anyway, y'all stay tuned. Love you guys.
came home to. That is the sweetest thing ever. That is just so adorable, y'all. That got me crying. And what is it for? Oh, you guys working hard. You guys were working hard, so hard to get the lights back on when the lights are finally back on. That's the sweetest thing ever, y'all. That is just so cute. Our kids are better than yours. <laughs> yeah. This is what you call a shepherd's pie meal. For any of you who don't know what a shepherd's pie meal is, ask one of your country homeboys or homegirls. <laughs> or hell, one of your country family members, such as myself. <laughs> no, I used to do it all the time, though. When you ain't got nothing in your refrigerator. Well, I shouldn't say it like that. When you got a piecemeal something together. That's what a shepherd's pie is. Any and everything you got in your cabinets or refrigerator. Gotta make a decent meal. That could be anything. Most of the time, you almost end up with like a chicken pie pie like we have had. That'd be the best, though. Mm-hmm. Just got to make it work. You do what you got to do. Mm -hmm. You can't complain. It'll make a turd. Yeah, hey, what you say? Yeah. My mm -hmm. mama always used to say that. It'll make a turd. <laughs> nah, it'll satisfy you. Shoot. You put some in your stomach. It's better than nothing. Thank the Lord. Yep. So, be grateful, y'all. But this just our... And I'm so thankful. I meant to um, put that little plug in there. We ain't really been able to just sit down and be still much. But, you know, after the whole lights out situation, it makes you think, you know. And I said that while I was still on vacation as far as the Lord shaking things up to, um, you know, redirect our focus and everything. And it, it definitely is making me very very thankful and appreciative because we've said and this is how funny it is and it's like is that why we're going through it again because we seriously have said we said time and time again generally we're used to buying in kind of bulk or excess right just to have because you just never know but we found that you you really waste more mm -hmm. doing it that way believe it or not so um we we've kept saying, you know, we're going we just going to buy as we need, like whatever meal we're going to make for the day, we just going to have to get out and go to the store and get it. And then we've always said that um we need to use what we have yep. so we're not throwing stuff out. If you think about it, you when you buy excess, you generally buy, you know, like the canned good stuff, but if you don't use it right away, it'll sit there and sit there and sit there and before you know it, you pass the expiration date. Right. And we've done that plenty of times and we do not like I hate wasting food because I really feel like somebody else could have had that. You know yep. what I mean? There's so many people starving just in the United States, let alone the world. Yeah. So that really just hurts my soul when we have to throw food out. With that power outage and everything for as long as it was, we had to pretty much empty out our refrigerator. I'd say about a good 85% of the stuff we had in our refrigerator, we had to put in the trash can. And, and so that's we, a lot. Yeah. And so we starting over. But it's a good thing. I'm not even mad about it, really. I mean, you know, besides the fact that we could have gave it to somebody. I would have rather get it to somebody than just throw it in the trash. It's forcing us to start over and to really do what we said we were going to do. Right. And so, and that's what we're going to do. So this is actually, we, when I got back in town a couple days ago, we bought this for salads. We killed <laughs> We've been eating chicken salad almost every meal, <laughs> but it's been great because this one needed a cleanse anyway. Mm -hmm. And um, I definitely did because I wasn't even eating the greatest. You know, you never eat the greatest while on vacation. So we just needed a reset. But anyway, this is what's left. And we got to make it do what it do. Check this meal out. When I tell y'all she's throwing some shit together. Damn, I look orange. Why y'all ain't tell me I look orange? Look like an Oompa Loompa. Y'all ain't tell me I look orange. Y'all just gonna let us talk this whole time and I look orange. I got to have green hair and skin. Oompa Loompa. I got another puzzle for you. I think that's how the song is. If you are wise, you'll listen to me. <laughs> Oh, <laughs>